This presentation is a part of Audio Adventure Theater. Chicago, 1931, when gangster bosses ruled the city. Mm, the first thing that I want to do is to go get a new chewing bone. Huh? How about that, eh, Tintin? Huh? Huh? Hello? Can you hear me? This is your dog speaking to you. Mm. We'll go straight to the hotel. <laughs> Watch out, Chicago. Here we come. Look, Snowy, there's a cab pulled up on the curb. We'll see if we can get a lift. Taxi, sir? The Osborne Hotel, please. How very polite. There you go. <coughs> ah, now for a life of luxury. Who can that be on the telephone? Hello? 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 Someone wanting us? Hello? So far, so good. He was Hello? so busy with the phone, he didn't hear me coming in. Hello? That's odd. They hung up. The wrong number, maybe. Yet, someone was whispering at the other end. Huh? Uh-oh. What are you looking in that mirror for, Tintin? Now what's the matter? Why are you going out the window? Shh! Don't worry, Snowy. You stay here. I'm going to spring a little surprise. Where are you going, then? Now, I'll just climb over to the ledge of my other window. He show himself. At your service. Hands up. Huh? What? How? I saw your reflection in the mirror. Ruff. Hello? Front desk? This is Tintin. Yes. I need the police up here right away. CTD Productions presents to you Tintin in America, Part 1, based on the comic book by Hergé, starring Caleb Thiessen as Tintin and Snowy, and Justin Heath as Bobby Smiles. Come in. Mr. Tintin, the hotel operator said you needed help. Yes. This gangster broke into my room with a gun. Luckily, I was able to surprise him. That's great work, Mr. Tintin. You've captured a dangerous criminal. May I ask you to come back with me to the station? Just the usual formalities. With pleasure. My, my dear Mr. Tintin, this is a, a pleasure. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to meet you. Do, do please sit down. Ah, have a cigar. No? Uh, then I'll come straight to the point. Uh, I'm, I'm Bobby Smiles, boss of the rival gangs fighting Al Capone and his mob. I'm, I'm, I'm hiring you at $2,000 a, a month to help me bring him down. If you rob Capone out yourself... 
there, there's definitely a bonus of, of a 20 grand, agreed? Ah, here, here's, here's your contract then. Go, go ahead and, and uh, sign here. Get your hands up, you crook. And I'll take care of that paper. Just remember, I came to Chicago to clean the place up. Not to become a gangster's stooge. So I'll make a start by arresting you. That won't be too hard with this contract. I'll keep it carefully, as proof. Oh, is that so? The floor's going away! Ah! I've been tricked. And now I'm trapped. Ugh, is that smoke? What a peculiar smell. It's like... Help! It's some kind of gas! They mean to kill me! Quick, my handkerchief! There! Oh, useless! I'm done for! I'm choking! My lungs! They're burning! There he is, Nick! The OX-2Z gas sure does knock him out. Sure does. To the waterfront, fast. Lake Michigan for him. No one here. All clear, Nick. Bring him along. Here, give me a hand. All right. <coughs> give him a swing. One. Two. Three. <sighs> Let's take in care of him. Let's go! Hey, boss! We took care of him! Alcatraz! Go right back where you came from. You used the wrong gas. You gave him Z4 sleeping gas. Go water will wake him up. Go and fish him off! Yes, boss! Yes, boss! Look, if you see him, don't miss, huh? Quit worrying! Reach for it, pal. Huh, huh, what? Lay down your guns. <sighs> Thanks. Much obliged. Since I hadn't a gun of my own. Huh? What? Oh, mercy! I don't want to die. Don't worry. I'm just calling the cops. What's going on here? Ah, officers. Could you take delivery of these two solid citizens? They're dangerous criminals. These two telegrams are about Bobby Smiles. They say he's been seen in Redskin City, a small place near the Indian reservations. Come on, Snowy. It's Redskin City for us. But, but, you don't really mean us to go into Indian country, do you, Tintin? Huh? Where are we now, Tintin? It's the desert. But I'm not worried about facing it with the supplies we bought in that last town. Yeah, that's all I know. When I came into the bank this morning like I always do, there was the boss, dead as a doornail, and the safe wide open. I raised the alarm, but the thief, he got glare. Hmm. We'll just take a look out the window, if you don't mind. Of course not. There. You see that? Footprints. Exactly. After the robbery, he got away through the window. Say, look at his footprints. A dead giveaway. See that? Just one row of nails on the right boot. Hmm. With tracks like that, we'll soon catch him. Up we get. Siesta's finished. Come on, Snowy. On our way. Hello. What an extraordinary thing. These aren't my boots. They have nails and spurs as well. How very peculiar. I can't understand it. Someone must have taken mine while we were sleeping. But who would be out here in the middle of the desert? 
It's really quite extraordinary. Look at those tracks. I'd say he was trying to disguise them, but he can't fool us. We'll soon catch up with him. Pia! Extraordinary. Stop! Huh? <laughs> okay, buddy. You're under arrest. <gasps> but why? I protest. <laughs> you protest? <laughs> what about the old West Bank? And the manager? <laughs> and the loot? What are you talking about? Don't play that game with me, buddy. He all tied up, Fred? Yep. Let's get him on the horse. We'll be back in town by dark. String him up! Right, are you ready? Yep. Heave ho! Wait! Stop! Stop this hair hanging! What's wrong, Sheriff? This fellow you're hanging is innocent. What's that? I just heard it on the radio. The notorious uh, bandit Pedro Ramirez was arrested while trying to cross the state line. And he confessed to yesterday's robbery at the Old West Bank. Well, I'll be... You must be innocent, then. Sorry about that, young feller. Uh, uh, that's all right. Uh, could, could you take this uh, rope off my neck now? Some of those folks back there said they saw Bobby Smiles pass through their town several hours ago and head off in this direction. Hopefully we'll be able to catch him up soon. Uh oh, we're coming to the mountains. <laughs> Still a good fresh trail, quite recent. There's a cabin up there on that ledge. Can he be there? What a superb hideout, a real eagle's nest. Have we got to climb right up there? Ah, there he is. Still on my tail. Never mind. That suits me fine. Ah, here's my detonator. Wait a minute. He's very nearly there. Now for the big laugh. One... Two, three. <sighs> Up she goes, and this tin tin is one story you won't write. We don't often go climbing. Good practice for us, Snowy. You know, tin tin, some people do this for fun. Great snakes! Ah! He's got us. He triggered off a rock ball! We're done for this time, Snowy! Oh, I had to blow up half the mountain, but boy, it did the trick. Ah, Tintin, -tin, my dear departed friend, here's to you. And to you, too! What? Back from the dead? Back from the dead, indeed. If I hadn't been protected by an overhanging rock, I'd be dead as a doornail. Well, better late than never. <laughs> He's got a bottle, Tin Tin! <laughs> <laughs> nice shooting, eh, Mr. Smiles? <sighs> Believe me, it's far better to give in. As you see, I always get there in the end. Don't try any funny business. In Tintin in America by Erge, dramatized for audio by Caleb Thiessen. You heard Caleb Thiessen as Tintin and Snowy, Justin Heath as Bobby Smiles, and Isaac Miller as the Sheriff. Other parts were played by Kyle Gewens, Robert Ferguson, Lucas Carding, Jordan Kaczynski, Benjamin Hansen, Bradley Van Lu, Ben Johnson, Brian Thiessen, Hector Linares, Joshua Camps, Jordan Franklin, David Hurst, and Reed Thiessen. Sound design and mix was by Caleb Thiessen. The audio adventure theater theme was composed by Garrett Vandenberg. 
and I'm Cody Robbins. 1010 in America by Erge was brought to you by CTD Productions. Next time. Hello, this is Tintin. My dog's been kidnapped. Don't let anyone leave the hotel. Let me introduce myself. Mike McAdam, hotel detective. You'll have your dog back within the hour. You may be certain that I shall take away unforgettable memories of my short stay in America. I say to you... <gasps> what? Huh? What? Oh, what in the world? Why are the lights going out? Help! 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 Goodness gracious! It is unbelievable, gentlemen. Tintin has vanished. Be sure to check out our website at audioadventuretheater.blogspot.com.